this is a quick little demo of the uTorrent controlling part of my iPhone app. So when I launch the app, you can see I get a list of the currently downloading torrents. So you can see I'm downloading the first episode of Pioneer 1. Um, it's coming in at uh, just under 3 megs a second. Uh, it's going up at about 10k a second, and I've got an ETA of about 11 and a half minutes now. And you can see all that same information over here on uTorrent that's actually running on the Windows machine. Um, this is where the torrent is actually being downloaded and all the information is being fed to this screen so that I can uh, start torrents and monitor torrents from anywhere in the world um, and have them download over the uh, quick Fios connection that I have at home. So another thing that I can do is I can search for torrents right from the app. So when I click search, um, it will pull up a web UI view and give you the Pirate Bay. And so let's do a little search for some open office. And so it will automatically sort the results by seeds, by seeders um, first. So you can see right here, we've got 21, then 5, then 4, then 3, then 2. Um, and so we've got the, the most seeded open office right here at the top. But if I was looking for something that was just newly put online, I could go and change the sorting to do by uh, newest first. And so this will give me results. And you can see here 1019, 1014, 1013 all kind of in ascending order by date. Um, but if I went back and I wanted to find the most popular open office torrent, um, all I would have to do is click the little download link here or the download torrent link inside the actual description page. And you'll see here that that torrent is trapped, sent over to the uTorrent client that's running on my Windows machine and starts downloading. And then all the information is um, fed real time to the iPhone app so that I can see what's going on. So I can do stuff I could um, pause a torrent if I wanted. You can see by the little icon that that has happened. Uh, I can start it up again. There's a little bit of lag between sending the commands and seeing the updated state um, because this list actually only refreshes every four seconds and I don't force a refresh um, when it's not necessarily needed. Um, so I can also delete torrents so if I didn't want Pioneer 1 anymore oops, I could go ahead and I could remove it. And you'll see that it gets deleted there after the four second loop and then you can see here in the client that it's gone as well um, and so then I've made it so if you get a torrent URL from somewhere else like an email or from Safari or from a different website you could go ahead and just paste it in here and that will send it over to the client machine and start downloading it there thanks